The NCAA Woo. will allow on-field advertisements for the first time. <laughs> how, are we, how are we feeling about this, Thor? So, I see, I see a lot of pros and cons about this. So, to, to clarify, one pretty much gigantic advertisement will be placed at the 50-yard line, followed by two other advertisements of whatever company. And programs don't have to do this. This is just if they want to. The main benefit of this is that's going to help bring in a little bit more revenue to that program to help with dealing with NIL. Mm -hmm. So it's going to all circulate back to NIL, which will help. I say which will help, which will either help slash make recruiting more difficult because if you already didn't like the NIL, it just got a lot difficult or a lot more difficult for y'all. If, and again, this goes back to more so what just happened between Florida and Jaden Rashad. I mean, that's a prime example right there of NIL yep. of um, and NIL falling through. This is another thing that can kind of help make sure stuff like that doesn't happen. And again, it just gives more money to the programs to help in recruiting battles, but it's also going to make it a lot more difficult for everybody else. Because again, it's optional for ever for all 134 schools. It's all optional. But if you don't do it, you are basically setting yourself and your recruiting at a major disadvantage versus any other school that will do it. Because more than likely, at the rate this is going, that kid is going to go to where the more uh, to where he can get more of the money versus the ah dream school. I'm a Florida fan. We hear all about this dream school thing. It always falls yeah, through. Facts. It always falls through. <laughs> the facts. dream school is Georgia. <laughs> no, the dream school is wherever the money goes. That's probably going to be well, Georgia. Now, Alabama. nowadays is is exactly what it is. Yes. So yeah, it's it all just ties back in with nil man, I, and it's just it's. It's becoming like NFL free agency. Again, we've said it multiple times. Just wait for just, we're just waiting for the two mega conferences in college football. Mm -hmm. This is just uh, the off season is just early bidding wars and it's just becoming free agency at this point for anybody in the transfer portal for recruits. It's just it's it's all over the place, man. It it honestly is like Sora said it's it's over the place. It, it's leading to two big conferences. It's just at this point, it's like, when? Just put the day on at one. But just think, looking at it, and I'm I'm not surprised by it at all with how everything's going with NCAA and everything. But I'll say this. I feel like this is going to help out some schools as well who really don't have the income as well. For these for their football programs, I think that's going to help boost their programs up and help it as well. So that's the positive I see from it. But the negative I see is like Sora says, is how it's going to affect NIL. It's going to help give more money to these schools who are already dominating in recruiting because of the money that they got already compared to some others. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can say for, again, lower schools that are usually not in like um, you know, talks of national championships just to lift up their program. Sure, great. Any lower, like I don't, know, I'm trying like to a know. Rutgers, San Jose State. That's great for them. You know, mm -hmm. lower lower schools like that. But for the top schools, like we'll throw we'll throw in Penn State. There, you're already having to battle out guys like Ohio State, Michigan. Now you're just giving them more money on top of that. Yeah, it's it, it's it's. It's great to make your program. It, it's great to bring fun funding to your programs. You can get better food, better parking, better equipment, better better locker better, room, better everything yeah. that a player would want. Competing wise, it's now a bidding war for any recruits or transfers. You already got the oil so money. It, it's transfer. all it's all up and down at this point. Yeah, and like you got the oil money already down with the Texas programs, and now you're giving them even more money. Yeah, let's read some of these comments here and I'll get to my point. So if the game is televised in a favorable time slot and a main network will get the advertisement, question mark. I don't know. I think this is more for local commercial companies. 
But it could be anybody. I mean, I don't. I mean, yeah, uh, me reading through sure. everything, it doesn't. I don't. I don't think it matters. For all we know this. Wisconsin's going to have the Quick Trip logo in center no, field. No, I'll tell you exactly line. whose logo it is. If you're from the Midwest, you know. I don't know who why I said anything. I don't know about. why I got him excited. I apologize. It is going to be a lawyer called Nicolay Law Firm, and it's going to have the beard. A That's lawyer? All it's going to be at the 50 yard line. I'm sorry. You, know, t- you know. Uh, yeah. I don't know, but I, I trust you. Dana I, says I, some I, of the- I apologize. Be- I don't know why I wanted him up like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dana I'm so said, sorry. Dana said some of the big schools might feel like it would dilute their own brand. That's true, too. Mm hmm. Coach said, uh, says, shout out to everybody. Shout out to you, Coach. Shout we coach. appreciate you, man. Dana Barry Smoltz, what's up? Um, Here's my thing. If you're not going to get with it the first year, you're definitely going to get with it in year two. And this is why I say this, because the NCAA has come out and they're going to start allowing schools to pay their players now mm-hmm. as athletes. So what other better funding resource than to use advertisers to help do that? It's almost like a loophole to NIL for players, but I mean, except it, you're yeah, attached it's, to the it's, school. It's free money. <laughs> it is. And I mean, for, for a local business, I mean, lawyer, things like that, like advertisement is everything. And mm-hmm. I mean, think about how, <laughs> now this is how crazy stuff is. Just think about how crazy fans are for their own sports teams. And all they have to do, it could be anything. It could be a smaller restaurant in in town that's selling cheeseburger empanadas. Nobody eats empanadas like that all over the place. But if I hear me out, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> but if they see if they see that Wisconsin is like we support the cheeseburger empanada establishment. <laughs> There's a crazy fan out there that's going to be like, we got to go try it now because I see the logo on the field. I'm just telling y'all, the psychologically, fans It'd are crazy like that. It's not a no, crazy I, idea. I agree. It's just the example is wild. That's that's all. Well, I mean, <laughs> it, it, just take it with anything. Like, if you. No, I know. I was just. Listen, you had me on the cheeseburger. I was like, oh, he's, it's going to be like a cheeseburger and bar kind of thing. It's going to be a pub. And then you said empanadas. And <laughs> I don't know. My, my immersion. My immersion was immediately broken. I've been wanting some some South American food for a while, and there's one restaurant that always closes early before I can order. Well, it. you know like, what? They it. could be in. They could be on the uh, 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 Penn State. <laughs> they I, could I don't on. remember what college you're close to now. Uh, I am closest to Penn State. Yes, it, it's still Penn Major. State. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Well, no, I'm still closer to Temple than I am Penn State, but. Yeah, you know that's fair. Or, kind of or, or or Maryland, you know, which is which is weird because I almost went to Temple, but that's besides the point. Chris Marino said, "How long before jerseys look like NASCAR with ads? They're not talking about logos on on jerseys yet. They're I, I think if it gets anywhere, it'll be like what the NBA does with the, the logos. Like I know for the Bucks, they got like a Harley Davidson one on the shoulder. I think that'll be it." I don't think it'll be it. if anything. I was going somewhere to small along the line of baseball. Get the benches or the walls just padded with different logos. That too, I could see as well. Well, well here, here's the thing. You also, well, you also got to look at it though with with jerseys with all the ads. That's a lot more. That's that's more money for the threading to ha- have to add all those to all your different uniforms, all your alternate uniforms. Mm-hmm. Well, at that point, you're gonna have to bat, uh, battle, you know, cost over profit. It is an interesting point, and here's why it's an interesting point with the jerseys because we could eventually get to that. But unlike the NBA and the NFL and the NHL, they all fall within their jurisdiction of one company that makes their uniforms, right? So right mm-hmm. now, Fanatics makes MLB. Fanatics is gonna make NHL next year. Nike makes. Nike and NBA are, are I'm sorry, NFL and NBA are Nike. Are Nike, yeah. yeah. So it's easy when they said that we're going to start doing advertising. Well, you got to speak to the company that has also their yeah. logo on there too, and make sure that they're in agreement with having you represented next to their logo. Especially college, when you got, college is unique, college is though. different because you got Under Armour, Adidas, mm-hmm. Nike, say, yeah, Jordan. I mean, Florida Jordan brand, the Jordan brand. So yeah, yeah every, I know everybody was, is different. 
Wisconsin does is Under Armour, but like 10 years ago, we were Adidas. Like I have an Adidas Monte Ball jersey, and now I got a two Under Armour like Badger jerseys. Like the that changes so much in college compared to like these other like professional leagues too that people don't realize as well. Yeah, well, I mean, you kind of proving my point there, Dana. I mean, yeah, they're sub they're subcontracted through Fanatics to to sell their merch, but you know, it's it's still Nike. Like Nike has to be in agreement with having a subcontractor like them, but you don't see Fanatics on their jerseys. You know what I'm saying? So whatever's gonna it's it's a funnel to get Nike more money on a different brand and. They, uh, you know, possibly manufacture some of their their fabrics and stuff for their jersey, um, which is in the throat. all of us up here are hockey fans, <laughs> and we hate the idea that that hockey's going to fanatics because no, we've seen nah. a disaster with with MLB. Oh my, they should go back to CCM. Me. I have no idea what they're Please. doing, but you know, don't that's I, that. I see that, that's off topic. But don't get me started on that now. Well, we've seen a disaster with uh. the MLB so far, so. Um, yeah. but yeah, it, it, to me, this just doesn't seem like college football, but if you keep it in a jurisdiction where only local businesses to that state have their logos on the field, that's cool. Well, for, yeah. for, for an aspect on, on that too, we like to travel here and go to games and stuff. Let's oh, say yeah. the one game that we've been talking about that we want to go to is the Nebraska versus Colorado game. Mm-hmm. It would be, it would be cool to see if we get to the stadium and see three different logos for three different restaurants there, we're all trying to decide what we want to go eat. Oh, oh snap. Yeah. Somebody yeah. put up enough money to to have, you know, Hayden and Soar's hot dogs, you know, as the logo. I would never go, go into business with this man. Then we, then we might go in <laughs> and try like, Hayden and Soar's hot dogs. Next. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Also, like, pause, brother, pause. <laughs> Yeah, that was a bad example. That was nasty the work. Yeah. <laughs> covered in I, I, I should have never say. said two men's name and hot dogs. That's nasty work. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Brother, uh. <laughs>